Okay, so I've collected this clear spray paint that is not clear, that is actually... Looks like pee. <laughs> I collected my pee outside. Thermochromatic paint is what we are playing with today, and I have these pigments here, and we're going to mix them with some paint and see if we can make the paint disappear. I've got a coffee cup here and a blow dryer, and if I turn this on... disappears. So we're going to be playing with this today and talking about how it works, why it works, and what purposes it can be used for. So thermochromatic materials are generally made of organic leucodye mixtures. That's composed of a color former, a color developer, and a solvent. So the color former determines the base color, the color developer is a weak acid and produces the color change, and the final color intensity. So between those two things, you have this awesome reaction. And sometimes these change multiple colors, but in our case, they just disappear to reveal either a hidden message or something under a coffee cup. Uh, and that's really cool that they have different purposes. You can also see these on food packages. So they'll use a little sticker that says if the color is not here it's too hot or vice versa so there's a lot of cool unique properties for this and I just love it because it's really cool to make stuff disappear depending on how hot it is and it's a great indicator for me if my coffee is too cold because no one likes to drink cold coffee okay so we got this cup from TikTok, and I want to see if we can use this thermochromatic paint it's a black to colorless and it changes at 82 degrees Fahrenheit which is 28 degrees Celsius I want to know if that color change is exactly at 82 or if it can be a little bit before so to do that what we're going to do is use this black pigment we're gonna add it to a paint base and then we're going to paint this coffee cup and then we're going to see if it's exactly 82 or if it's a little less than 82. So now we're gonna take this and then we're gonna mix it with a stir stick. I'm gonna add a little bit more pigment. And then you can just take your paintbrush. Okay, so this kettle has a thermometer that is built in, so we're gonna put it on here and wait until it says 77, pull it off, and then go give our cup a test because I wanna give it a five degree barrier. So here we go. So this is the water at what our kettle says is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So the temperature range we just discovered is not as accurate because we just took this cup out of the freezer as well. So that definitely lowered the temperature of the kettle water, which was at 77 degrees when I took it off the kettle. Um, so that just goes to show that it turns way sooner than in the temperature it says on the packaging, which was 82 degrees Fahrenheit and 28 degrees Celsius. So I would probably give it a plus or minus 10 degrees if it were me um, I did five but yeah so there it is all right so I pre-painted the rest of these cups here is the main character mug it is nice and blacked out um, these I did with a white base so they're gonna turn hopefully white at the end here we go whoa that's so cool so we think that these white streaks are from the interaction of the disappearing color and the spray paint. We aren't sure, because like if you get the black powder and you turn its color basically, it says it's turning clear, but it does turn this very white color at the end. So I guess white is technically clear, but I mean, it still looks pretty good in my opinion. But the rest of these should be white at the end, which will be pretty cool. Let's do one more with hot water and then we'll do the rest with the hair dryer. Look at that gradient. Wow, what a great hot cup of water. This is 
cool also because you can see which coffee cups retain heat the best and like where they hold them the best, which is pretty neat. All right, we're gonna see what happens if we take hot water and like splash one of these cups and it's all in that white cup. But what's really cool is that the white cup has completely changed colors except for the handle, which is really cool. That's so cool. It's so cool because you can like see it run down. It just like absorbs it. That's so cool. I wanted to see what would happen um, if I pulled off the stickers that said T-Core on it. And so you're cool, left with this cool design. And then you pour the hot water in. And maybe it changes colors. I don't know, we, this cup might be really cold. That looks so cool. So it's like a really defined T-Core logo or like a very subtle T-Core logo. All right, so we have all these leftover colors from me painting the coffee cup and I want to put them in order by color and then paint them down a sheet and then put them all to the test and see if they all change at the same temperature or if they change at different temperatures. Okay, so the colors all came out a little pastel-y. Um, I might have gotten a little carried away with the white paint, but you know, that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this sheet. So now we're gonna run the blow dryer over it and then probably throw some water at it because you know, that's all super satisfying. It's just so cool. It's just so fun. And then you go outside and you wave it around in the winter time and it all comes back real fast. It's like I'm shaking the color down. And it's back! <laughs> it's so cool. So I have an ice cube. I'll use a popsicle. <laughs> That's so fun. Popsicle art. Yay. Okay, so the last thing we need to test is the water test because that was seriously so cool. So we're gonna do that and see what happens if we throw hot water at this. Not the same effect as the coffee mugs. Oh, there it is. I guess mine wasn't hot when I dipped it. That looks so cool. That's awesome. You guys got the message, right? This board is falling apart on us. There's water all over the ground in studio. So we need to take this water cup outside and then pour it on this and that will be it. Okay, this is it. Goodbye painting. <laughs> that was awesome. Guys, that is all we have for you today, playing with thermochromatic paint. Oh look, it's already coming back because it's so cold outside right now. This has been fantastic. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our podcast and then check out this video right here. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's the hot chocolate bomb explosion that we made uh, and it's sodium metal in hot chocolate bombs. It's awesome. You'll check it out. You'll love it.